Now see what we have here is a typical extension of question number two that we discussed in this series, um, which you know, uh, where we, uh, which question am I talking about? We're talking about alpha plus beta is equal to 90 degree, that question. So you know this question, this one, the two bodies are projected from the ground. The specific question here is as based on the question which we did earlier, alpha plus beta equal to 90 degree. Okay, anyway, let's, let's, let's try to understand what the question says. Two bodies are projected from ground with same speeds 40 and 40 meters meter per second at two different angles with respect to the horizontal. The bodies were found to have same range. If one of the body was projected at an angle 60 degree with the horizontal, then the sum of the maximum height attained by the two projectiles is. Right, so first what we'll do is we'll try to visualize the concept given here, the scenario given here. So, say one body is projected with you, another body is also projected with you. Right. Now one is projected at 60 degree such that, say for example, it makes a horizontal distance r. Another is also projected at 60 degrees, sorry, uh, some, some angle theta, such that, okay, maybe we should, such that the horizontal range is the same. Now what can vary here? This is the maximum height attained by projectile 1 and this is the maximum height attained by projectile 2, right? So, u is same for both 1 and 2. Range is also same for both 1 and 2. Now from the previous discussion we know that, from the previous discussion we know that if R1 is equal to R2 then we know that theta1 plus theta2 should actually be equal to 90 degree. Since it is given that one of the angle is 60 degree here, theta1 assuming to be 60 degree, so 60 degree plus theta2 is equal to 90 degree which means theta 2 is actually 90 minus 30 60 degrees right so we have an two objects projected at u common velocity one is projected at 60 degree and the other is projected at 30 degree and in both case what's the maximum height attained height is u square sine square theta the whole upon 2g so here it would be u square sine square 60 the whole upon 2g and in case of 30 degree it would be u square sine square theta the whole upon 2g. So let us say h1 is equal to u square sine square 60 and h2 is equal to u square sine square 30 and what have we asked to find out? The sum of the maximum heights which means we need to find out h1 plus h1 plus h2 which actually gives us u square sine square 60 plus okay let us put it by 2g plus u square sine square 30 the whole upon 2g now if we take if we take u square by 2g common what's left is sine square 60 plus sine square 30 right which gives us what is the value of u it is given to be 40 so what we have is 40 square the whole upon 2g is 2 into 10 right into sine square 60 what is sine 60 sine 30 is 1 by 2 and sine 60 is root 3 by 2 right in which case what we have here is sine 60, sine 60 square is 3 by 4 plus sine 30 square is 1 by 4. So what we get is 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 is 4 by 4 which is equal to 40 square into 4 by 2 into 10 into 4, right? So 4 by 4 is 1, 40 square is 1600 by 10 is 160 by 2 is 80 meters. So the correct option here is the sum attain sum of height is 80 meters so could we could we do it in any other way could we make the calculation look more, more simple uh, no there are two possible angles right two that one angle one angle two which means there should be two into the height h1 and h2 uh, 
mm, even if you take right now, now what you can do is uh, maybe what you can do is you can try to calculate the sine square the sum of the values sine square alpha plus sine square beta and how are they sine square alpha plus what is beta beta is sine square uh, sine square 90 minus alpha now what is sine square 90 minus alpha it is cos square alpha and if sine square plus what is sine square alpha plus cos square alpha it is equal to 1 so that's also one you know one um, trigonometric way of looking into the concept here right